In this video, we are building and giving away 100 houses. And each home is going to change a family's life. Like this family, who didn't have a house to call their own. And they have no idea we just built them one. Take off your blindfolds and turn around. Behind you is your brand new home. <laughs> I do it, we do it, and we are do it, we make everybody see it. Anywhere me go, girl, I say me look neat. Anywhere me go, girl, I say me smell sweet. I do it, we do it, and me no bad boy pants. Greetings, greetings to all my viewers and subscribers. All of our lifestyle is here, have no fear. And I do it, we do it, we make everybody see it. You see me, I say. And guys, you don't know, for us Jamaicans and few people that 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 lives in the Caribbean we all know what is going on and we know we have a storm heading towards Jamaica at any time now you know but you don't know we just beg people and for us try you know for secure themselves a certain way who can secure this and can secure that then just can't secure that but try for you know just stay in a day way of this hurricane because anything can happen and things can fly chop you like zinc you know flying debris you know anything at all can happen man. so it is best ones of ones and ones um stay inside you know maybe you have one little wall where you can peep through one little part of the window there you have to be careful you know and a certain thing set say yeah man, first and foremost I must say big up to Ginger Hall, you know, saying last night when we did on your life, it was really about consciousness, you know, all heap of reasoning, even though it wasn't a lot of people, you know, but in the last half we see some people take time and stroll in one by one and thing, you know what I mean, but God is love every time and, you know, the reasoning was great, you see me I say? I am enjoy your life. See? Yeah, man. More time, you know, take no crowd, you know. If you enjoy yourself, you know. You just take a handful of people more time. You see? It? And I saw it go. You see me? So, as I say, big up yourself, Ginger Hall, you know. Big up yourself, Gabby Dan, Lifestyle JA, Good Channel people. More want to go over to them people yeah, and support them. See? Good people, them. See? We have good content. See, Ginger Hall is more of a more of a authentic type of virgin. Him love to make him mango juice and all them thing there. You know, him dig him roots him, build him roots him same way. He's a builder, you know, mason, and he do a whole lot of stuff, you know. So you can go over to him and check him out. And you can check out this virgin at the same way. It goes by the name of um Barn AJ Barn Jamaican, you know. He's a Jamaican, live a foreign for many years, and him do trucking over there, you know, and more time him, him, him cultivate him little food provisions him in his backyard, him have a nice garden, and you can follow him too, you know. So I just say that for now, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, guys, as we say, we know so we have stamp and see and are on sea. <laughs> See, wherever. But right now, I want to showcase just a few little things because we do a little, not really a major shopping because, you know, more time, not saying it is not good to do major shopping. You do major shopping when you really do have it. Even if you don't really have it, you know you're going to try to put out your best because you have family to take care of and all them things there. And I can tell you these people, I go in a, more, a lot of supermarkets I went into and I can't get bread, we can't get this, we can't get that and thing. The first thing we start work for look for is one of these guys. One of this. You say if your house not having one of them here, and I also have. Trust me, a dolly house. It don't make sense. You have to have one of this. See, we have one before and it break. You understand? So, I try to go get this now and it trust me, I'm walk till my foot tired to get one of them people. So guys, trust me, when I try to get one of them, I walk all over the whole town. The whole town forget a lamp. 
sale and guys for those of you who don't know this lamp is magic you used to have the one that shape more like a bell you know that come down like this and shape and wear you know but this is still an old version see and trust me you see anywhere they must sell and you can buy one two three four it is good trust me you just have to know if it angle it can you know if you, if you light it first and foremost you screw the top here see it you screw it off and then you know you have a week that run through that sucks the oil through and then you take off the shade itself like this and then you light the wick which is here yes so I saw you go you know and trust me guys a lot of business places do have them here. people buy them out guys see next thing again I want to show you and this is the real old school style the real old school style guys and me can tell you this I will never forget my roots me not care who nobody wants it me not forget it you see me I show nothing to make this back a torch you see this back a torch guys you use something like a piece of rug and when you throw the aisle which is this this is the kerosene aisle guys you used to have it in blue but this is the original see so look kerosene aisle when we throw it down in the bottle we do like this with this piece of cloth and sink it down in the buckle mouth go all the way down okay all the way down till it come all the way here come down so when it come down it sucks the oil up through the cloth and then you will have it as a week you know a week that you're gonna light seen we know some modern days now but me have to show some people because they still have some people were born and them don't know it take it as me tell you them don't know it seen so when you push down the wheat down in the buckle and it reach down it where it can we 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 start to encounter with the oil the gas oil the cursing oil like this it tend to when you do like this and shake it up it start to soak through the week and then the light up here so and this me grow up on as a juvenile in the 80s coming up so you see this method guys is a long time method even before me born you see me so if push the push have to come where I, I was have to use one of this because I can't get one of this I want of this would I make it only push off a, a, a flame and a little smoke but we're no business because we only want to have what? light light is important you see it? yeah man when storm are blowing them thing they know, and they're not pretty thing you, know, you just want something where you can see through the dark you understand because you have children and children don't like dark you see it? next thing you have to have them nice little pen light -like batches here guys the pen light -like batches them you have them in different sizes you know and shape too and if you notice good to have a flashlight doesn't matter how small or how big so long as you can see good to have a flashlight guys and Another size, good to have them. So, another one, good to have. So, and bright, don't it, guys? Yeah, man. Good to have them thing, yeah, man. Well charged up and ready. In case of anything, you know, any disaster. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. So guys, I just say things set. Next thing, it is good to have guys a little radio. It is good to have a little radio because it is based on how long the power is going to go away from. Normally, JPS does. Then we just cut off the light. Them never used to cut off the light. But when we start up storm now and them things they them start to cut off the light and you know for it no cause no problem when tree trees or anything post fall you know nobody no get electrocuted and them thing there and as the storm go away maybe for a few days like maybe one two three days you know what I mean they see the light come back again so it is good to have them thing there and next thing again guys you know you don't know more time we have little crackers for munch pan during the season you know this is um made by excelsior you know cream crackers and i eat that and you don't know guys you know we buy a few of them little canteen and we don't really fancy them but we buy them because it is important to have guys we buy a whole heap of them you know so we just show you them next thing guys it is good to have these and it's when you have matches all you have to do, put it into a plastic bag and tie it. And no sir, eat that. You see me? Protect it from water. And next thing, candles. Good to have candles around in case. Alright? Good to have candles around. So as we say, we have little can stuff them and you know, last coffee mix and all them thing there. You know, we now left out to excel so water crackers. And this whole army because the brand itself whole army. The crackers itself whole army. So I say go. You see it? Yeah man. And next thing again people. I was I was trying to get the ordinary giant bread. You know? We really do want to buy two of them. But trust me people, when we see the, the chop them, a whole heap of people are feeling a line. Forget something for buy. A lot of people, you know? So where I have to do? Me realize that I not going to get them bread there everybody are running down. But everybody not run down this. Everybody not run down this, you know. So I bought this bread for $1,100. You know? Another truck before was selling it for $1,200. People are foreign. You know, so you think set? Hmm? Can you imagine a pay for your bread for $1,200? $1,100? Hmm? Look at it. Yeah man, the Jamaica no normal place people man. You see it? Jamaica no what? Normal place we live. Based upon how we see them deal the country, the politician them, the man them treat the country like it's a rich man country, which I think it is only a rich man country and not for the poor class or the lower class of people them. You see me? Next thing again guys, as you know, see me show in Alaska, corn meal is the last thing for out of your house. You have to have one of them, yeah? it is good. You see me, if you have one of them, once you have caramel, sugar, and milk, along with your little spices them, you're good to go. You see it? No joke. So I said things said people, and no joking thing, yes sir. You see it? So right you now, you know, we want to showcase a little reasoning with you know. And it was, it is called, it, it is it is about a virgin goes by the name of Mr. Bean. Yeah, guys, it go by the name of Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah, about Mr. Bean. We you them love watch Mr. Bean, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, my kids them love watch Mr. Bean, you see me? So that's why you see us come out and remote. Anyway, this guy, Mr. Beast. <laughs> this guy, Mr. Beast, man, I tell your people, guys, trust me, you know. Them type of people are them type of people that we want in our country. You see me? We acknowledge poor people and see poor people and know, say, yo, listen, poor people are poor people. You see? I'm showing our energy, seen? Anyway, this guy, Mr. Beast, is a YouTuber, famous YouTuber, seen? Top man in the business, seen? And he has over 295 million subscribers. You hear that? 295 million subscribers. Seen? This guy go around 
all over the, the, the world and you know build lots of houses for the less fortunate you know and when you hear me say less fortunate me mean poor people people who cannot afford to buy a house or build a house even if them build a house it is like a shock, a shock or something like that you know it does not look right it does not presentable but so long as a man build something where can shelter rain sunlight and all them things there we have to consider it to be a shelter or a home you know what I mean because when a one can't afford to do certain things you know to make themselves comfortable you know it is a hell of a thing and sometimes some people live with the consequences live with the conditions and happy and proud with the conditions until time come where things change for them you know what I mean because if I want to suffer, suffer or a struggle, it can't be forever. Something must come into play where, you know, the pressure is off a little. Might not be a hundred percent. You see, but guys, you know, this guy, trust me, I tell you. I tell you guys, you see me. We are almost half. The man said, there is almost half a million people living in unsafe, life-threatening conditions in Jamaica. You hear what man say? I'm going to say it again. The man said there are almost half, half a million people living in unsafe, life-threatening conditions. See? Trust me, the man come like in comfy shop, Andrew Onis. You see me? Yeah, man, me can't fix it no other way, guys. The man coming like him come for show up and Joe Wallace. For show and Joe Wallace, a bridging this can happen so. How you not make it happen so? What you do with taxpayer money? You see me? We all are pay tax. And every minute in a year budget read something raise. So where, where the man are doing it? Where am I doing it? So this guy, Mr. Beast, as me say, seems like him come for show up. This guy. Because, you know. Oh, take a man from somewhere. Come on. No, I say nothing, you know, man. Guys, listen. Imagine, seeing there are a lot of people living in this kind of conditions. Seeing, especially in this hurricane season. Can you imagine? In this hurricane season, there are people where, where live a certain way. Now wash them, I go wash away. Blow away. Especially you have all children, young baby. We are just born and all them things there. You see me? Government of Jamaica not looking for those type of people. They not look out for them people there. And you see when you start talking about them, people are saying, oh, who know this, who know that, and re re. The man feel, the man feel look in on the most important things them and stop look on the less of things when are important brother you see me a dirty man for do and all of a sudden you you, you find say if if you if you talk your mind it's as if a man go want to tell you say oh anyway you are gonna find you or you know or prosecute if you talk if you have freedom of speech because of them where them are pre right and now me say the famous Mota Baruka come out with a program and I talk about it too. You see me, I say, and I say, I'm going to start track people on social media, especially vloggers, bloggers. You see me? So, you know, we just look on it as stupidness because why a man can't talk? You just want to run the country just like that and nobody have nothing to say. Like some Hitler thing. You're mad? That can't work. It can't work. We're not having that. You see me? People are feel sane because we are Jamaicans. You see me? We are Dayati Jamaicans. We have to talk because you take with tax money. So if you feel take my money and me know if to talk. Me not understand that. Me can't understand that and me can't see through that. You see me? So as me say people, you know? You know? It take a man from a different country who sees the needs of the people. 
It takes a man from a next country who sees the needs of the people. And we have a government who should make it is we have a government who should make it is priority to go around and investigate send people figure investigate about the people who cannot afford a house that is why me have to say me still have a big up food for the poor me have a big up food for the poor and at one point, me notice food for the person. I, I draw them foot to one way because it's as if if you not know people are, if you not have this or if you not have property where I, I hear one and it you know, a lot of poor people have no one no one a for you no know way. A lot of poor people no one a for you no know way. I still want something for live. You know. You see me? So me look on it away for say. If you discover say people not have a tyke of your property. Give them all the same way. But they live. Until if push come to shove. And you know. As the government. The government is good at this. After a time. They come and push off of the land. And them, them, them tell you say. Well we are going to want that property, property here by XYZ time. And we want to know evacuate this property. And leave. You see me. And when you say alright. We are going to move. When you move, the property, the property that they have for the next 10, 20 years, the government them no use, the government no use the property. But yet still, you push off the people for the property. And say, no want it. I no want it for you same time. You see me? So you see, in a 20 year time, the amount of people where they the property would have tell themselves, you know, we know enough for a place, you know, but in a 20 year time, we are going to try to live and have a place. We do not give poor people a chance. You see me? So as I said, government who should make it is make it is priority to help the people of Jamaica who we call the less fortunate or we call them poor people. You see it? So guys, how can we sit back as people of this country and see disaster? How the government treat the poor people of this country. Everybody in this country paying tax, but yet we can't talk and we know if we talk. You understand? Me, me just can't look through that and see it. You know? Me can't see through that. You know? It's not going to happen. Because you have people out there who are well educated and brighter than me too much times. We are going to talk. You see me? So guys, we want to know if stay tuned and watch the video here. Yeah. Guys, before I show you the video or this video behind me, I don't forget you. I don't forget you. I don't forget you. I don't forget you. I don't Life in Jamaica. Guys, if you don't, if you don't have Kino life in Jamaica, if you go over there go look for him, and see what he's going on with. Over by Chenchtown. You see me I say? Yeah man. And this guy is an example of Mr. Beast. Kino of a channel where people been donating money. You know, to help. The people of Trenchtown to live in a better facility. You know? Kino might not. Kino may not buy a piece of property to put 50 house on for the people in Trenchtown, but where the people them live already is renovating, putting up concrete structure for them to live in. So, that lady who goes by the name of Elizabeth over by Waterhouse that get the money to start Fair House. Can you imagine if this Astamia blow 
komya 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 ajomia kaya kamina de pani decent not nino you can imagine if you come here or when you come here you can affect me too you know because a zinc roof me have up there you see me and it have hurricane support around it and the game can play and if you nail well nail long in a zinc bend them not stay up because wind can go on a zinc and lift up the nail too you know so you zinc the nail them bend you see but can you imagine if this has time here come and elizabeth you know can go where they go look for Pan the channel, pan the channel. We met about Elizabeth with the money where she go up, and we don't really believe so she really, you know. We never go down the road, eh? But Elizabeth, if you are watch a video, yeah, the condition of your house, oh, you are gonna manage based on your condition. If you did start the project, maybe to not finish up. Fee, you can live in it, but at least would I see say you try. So how you gonna manage people if we them when we show them when we make base up of the review them of a key you know, them with Elizabeth. You know see us, you know, you know see condition. You see me? And Kino been helping a lot of people. Kino help our people at Spanish town, you know. People are help Kino help people at Spanish town, two brothers, the two blind brothers them. You see me? Yeah, man. Seen. So, guys, you don't know, and we just, we just, we just, we just want fish. Sure, if, 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 if local people like Kino cannot look out for the people them, and I give them place to make them live, or I fix up them place. Kino is not the government. Sin, Kino is not the government. Mr. B Mr. Beast is not the government either. He's just a YouTuber. You see me? And him platform big. And the man I go around in a enough countries. Go give them house. Go give them ski mouse to ski mouse in borders. You see me? And the house them give the Jamaicans them. Is house that is similar to the food for the poor home them. I want to know watch him. You see it? And this is just the first of a hundred houses we're giving away. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing fine now. We've seen Life, like this family who didn't have a house to call their own and they have no idea we just built them home. take off your blindfolds and turn around behind you is your brand new home <laughs> oh i was not expecting that reaction she is freaking out and this is just the first of a hundred houses we're giving away. <laughs> I'm glad they're happy. Let's go give away another house. With every single home we're building in this video, we're improving quality of life for families who don't have a safe space to call home. And we spend millions of dollars just on this video building these houses. Because here in Jamaica, there are currently over half a million people living in unsafe, life-threatening conditions. Like this next family whose house is so unsafe and unstable that it could literally collapse on them at any given moment. So you built this place? Yeah. By yourself? Yeah, I brought boards and all materials, basically. But we're on top of a mountain, so you carried all this material up this mountain. Yep. On my head. head. Wow. We knew we wanted to build this family a house. So we sent them on a mini vacation so that we had enough time to work with our partners to build them a brand new home. Guys, you hear what the man say? The man lived on a mountain on a hilltop and the man carry all of the all of the material upon him head you see when a man persistent and want something and no say he need it he may go go feed and not that that virginia do he go feed as much as the earth is the earth didn't build to that perfection neatness but the man try you see it while you have some not try. You're about to witness a family that lives in this house go to living in this house. And I cannot wait to see the look on their faces. Oh, 
Oh my. <laughs> what you are looking at is your brand new home. The trip we sent you guys on was just a decoy, so we can have time to build this brand new house for you. You want to see the inside? And the man send them for a trip. Why let my billet? We noticed that you guys might need some new furniture, so we completely furnished your new home. Now, on top of electricity, you have a water tank for running water. We put bunk beds in this room for two of the kids. Oh my! And if you go across the hallway, you'll see your bedroom. Ooh, nice. With a little crib, because I heard you had a newborn. Tyra, that's your crib. Was being real. This guy is a very observant person. The man. The, the family, them don't know nothing about no crib. You see me I say? Them don't know nothing about no crib. See? And the man analyzed them have a little young baby. So he must want a crib. And the man put a crib in the room. Side of them bed. And if you notice, guys, if you notice, the mattress them are some thick mattress. And they not cheap something. You see me? And they not waste mattress thing. A nice, thick, fluffy mattress, well comfortable, can last them for a long time. You see it? Yeah, man, no joke. The man I give them something good, and I just saw things set. You see it? Yeah, man. Really hard, and you guys just changed my life. Here's officially the deed to the house. Thank you guys so much. And it sucks, but some of these places that these families live are extremely unsafe, and in some cases, life-threatening. That's where this family currently lives. The mom was telling us that that roof doesn't work. Whenever the rainfall, the whole place. A lot of people been living under kids this condition so up till this day, very day. That will not happen again. We built that brand new home for you. Here's the keys. Oh my God! Yay! I got a new house. <laughs> but of course, this was just the beginning. We were able to build home after home for families in Jamaica, and we weren't gonna stop until we had built 100 houses. What unfortunate! Can you imagine, guys? The man is not. The Prime Minister is just a YouTuber. We have made a couple million dollars. You see me, I say? And the man find the time out for left from film yard. If you come to Jamaica, for build 100 house. So, what the government them a deal with? What them a do? What them, I don't understand them. Eh? What them a do with taxpayer money? If a man can live from out and country, come build 100 hours. A man could have can live and come, come build 200 and 300 hours to see me. You see me? I'm coming and show up and Joe Wallace. Wicked! The wickedest thing is could have reached Mr. Andrew Wallace. You see me? A lot of poor people out there see me need this. You have some people who live all in a some low line era. You see me? Especially in another star, yeah. we all feel come here. Yeah. You see me? Yeah, man. So, guys, I want to see what I show you. Know. And what I say, guys, when I wait for man, like, subscribe, and share, no man. You see me, I say. Because I don't know how fox me are talking. You, know. you see it? I don't know how biased thing I say. You, know. you see it? Bridging. The people them who are control the country, who are run the country, are only check for themselves alone and them big shot friend them. You hear that? People, you know how much time we want. People, let me explain something. We want to go in our business. See? Right now. And we can't tell you this. We can't get no loan for borrow. Can't get a loan for borrow. Can't get a loan. And when them big shot friends are going to the bank and fill the money where we are put in there where we are safe, the bank take and give them how much millions. Then just walk in and borrow that. You see me? And then get that bank now, hitch upon them. And when we as a small people want to try to elevate ourselves, want a loan, the bank now look upon we. We have to find one whole heap of documents. Next thing, not everybody have a job who can pay back this amount and this amount. You see me, not everybody have a job, you know. We say, right, people, them hard, them want to lend a small, like, small loan. See? The amount of documents will take you to have, to go into them to get a small loan, you know. You see me, all right, you want a small loan. And you, 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 you don't have a job where you say you can pay them back. And they still not go on and trust you to give them money when you're there on your face. 
them who want to try to say, all right, we're going to help you until or help you and steer you or be there to oversee what you're doing because we're going to want back our money. Then we'll come to see if whatever business you're going to do is feasible to, to, for you to accumulate back the money for pay them. Then not even they do that. You see me? But when the big shot them walk in, bank manager turn idiot, running money, millions, fill with poor people money. And when we want help, if we try to get a loan, we can't get it. Loan for some, some business now produce that amount of money if we pay them back. Yeah. The loan officer, but when the big shot then go in there, then can't get it. You know, she said, the country split in half. You know, see, a one side the money I run pan. A one side them a look, look, them a look pan. Them now look pan we the poorer class of people who are trying to elevate yourself and come out of poverty. We must always stay in the poverty till we deal with dead. And me not believe in that. No time. Mad. Unfortunately, at our next destination, there's a river that destroys hundreds of homes every year. You see, during rainy season, this river flash floods, washing away all the homes and anyone unlucky enough to be inside. And as you can see, there's literally a fridge right there, which I assume got there because their house got swept away. Exactly. So you're saying when this floods, those houses that currently have families living in them could potentially be destroyed. Yes, they will. Well, not on my watch. Because just a couple miles away, we've built rows of new houses for this community. No joke, we're giving away this home, 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 this home. There's a lot of homes. So we started so with Maria and her daughter, whose previous home was completely demolished by the river during rainy season. And without even Government a can do a million in, percent better. Okay. Okay. All right, and since they don't speak English, can you translate for them to turn around and look at their brand new home? Puede darse vuelta. Aquí está tu nueva casa. Ay, Gracias. Gracias, Padrecito lindo. Gracias. No Come check out the inside. Oh, you want to get in? Come on. And while walking through their new home, we realized they didn't even know their house was free yet. Oh, you haven't told them it's no, free? No. Yeah, tell them. It's free. No van a pagar. Todo esto es suyo. Ay, gracias, Padre. Congrats on the new home. Oh, you're crazy for not telling me that it was free. Sí, se puede acostar. What do you think of it? <laughs> What'd she say? Can he hug you? Oh, of course. Can I see that? This is why we do videos like that. Look how happy they are. I don't want you to have to worry about the river anymore. This is your brand new home. Enjoy the new home, little man. We heard they had a newborn, so we also got him a crib. <laughs> See that row of houses behind me with the families blindfolded in front of them? We are not kidnapping the families. We're giving them all houses at the same time. Eight families' lives are about to change forever. Attention, everybody! Remove your blindfolds and turn around and look at your brand new home. Congratulations! Hey, gracias por la casa, Jimmy. I gotta go down. I need to see the reactions. What do you think of the new place? Congrats. Come over here. I have something way better than just a picture. Do you ask him if he wants to play football with me? Te pregunto si quieres jugar fútbol con él. Yeah. Well, that's convenient because not only are we giving this community houses, but we're also giving them this giant soccer field. And the best part is, I have hundreds of kids waiting over here. We're gonna surprise them. And this is the neighborhood's first look at their brand new soccer field. Let's play some soccer. Enjoy your new soccer field. And of course, a new field had to come with brand new soccer equipment for all the kids. Make sure you guys have a lot of fun on the soccer field. But I don't know if the soccer field was enough because all the kids started demanding feastables. Alright, here's the feastables. They really love feastables here. I will start carrying more feastables. I don't know what he said, but if he said it tastes good, then he's correct. But of course, outside of this community, more families across El Salvador were in need of safe housing. So on our way out, we built as many houses as we possibly could. But we're only halfway there because a small community in Argentina also needed our help. And we built house after house to ensure that every single child in this community had a safe place to learn and grow. 
but we still weren't done. So we even flew all the way over to Mexico, where we continued to build house after house for all of these communities. And when we arrived in our next destination in Colombia, we found a community whose homes were ravaged by a brutal windstorm. The next family used to live in a house like this. I say used to because a tornado destroyed it. And clearly these houses are in no way livable. And so, of course, we built John and Anna a brand new home. And now all we have to do is give it to them. So guys, let's see what is going on. This man right done is good. all okay. over the world. Take them off. Congrats! I know it might not seem real, but this is legitimately your house. You want to unlock the front door? They're all in shock, and to be honest, I don't even think they believe this is their house. They may not be saying anything, but the tears say a lot. Congrats, man. Congrats. This is yours. Oye, bastante. Nosotros iniciamos con una habitación prefabricada. Tenemos casa. And guys, I'm simply saying it, has, it is a blessing for someone like Mr. Beast to come here, you know, acknowledge these people in Jamaica and decided that he's gonna build them or build a hundred home, you know, for our Jamaican people who are very less fortunate. I was little a little poor cut just a little while ago. And you know, but I must say, give thanks and praise to the most I ja, you know what I mean? And you know, for those of you who supported my channel, you know, a big thank you to you guys. You know, some agree with me, some disagree with me, but I saw it go. And it is called reaction video where I do review and about other things, you know that other youtubers do see yeah man guys you don't know a thing go hurricane season hurricane time me here out of my yard out of door there you know a mango tree a banana tree them be a god go with you know cause boy when it takes so long for beer for, for give me a, a, a some banana you know Guys, you don't know the power cut again. But you hear me? We don't make nothing stop. We know we are doing the thing in the boy. Here we are, guys. We just want to know, say, we have two of them here too. You know? And you guys, feel us know, say, if we don't have them bulb here, you don't know. A hurricane bulb them, if we have them. You don't know, no? Yeah, yeah. Like, subscribe, and share to them. Share the channel out there to the people, and the people see it. God is love every time. One art, one aim, one destiny. The government of this Jamaica will not do better. I'm out.